Here are three more examples of how to draw loci. In this first example, a lawn is to be planted inside this garden at least four metres from the side of the house, so it's four metres away from the house, and at least three metres from the tree. There. Shade the lawn. Well, we have to measure four metres away from the house. Because this has got lots of right angles in it, we can just do it by measurement. Measure four metres in two places and draw a straight line. Uh, which is parallel to the side of the house and four metres away. Then draw a circle of radius three metres around from the tree. Now we have to work out what's the actual area that needs to be shaded. It's got to be at least four metres from the house, so it can't include any of this rectangle, but it's got to be, with, got to be outside the tree as well. So that's the shaded region. Uh, once again, if you do this in a test or exam, don't rub out any of your construction lines. Another example. A rose bed is to be planted within 5 metres of A and within 6 metres of C. Well, if it's within 5 metres of A, it's got to be inside a circle of radius 5 from A. So it's got to be inside that circle. Of course, it's inside the garden, so it's just going to be in this region. But it's also got to be within 6 metres of C, so we draw a circle of radius 6 with C as the centre. And now it's uh, the region which is in both of those areas, so we have to shade that to get this little lozenge of green there. Third example, Caroline wants to plant a lawn which is closer to the side AB than AD and within 6 metres of C. So closer to this side than that side. You should remember that what we need is something which bisects this angle. And remember with these constructions you will not be allowed to use a protractor, so we have to use the angle bisector method. So let's see if we can remember what that was. First of all, we draw an arc from A, cutting the two lines that we're trying to bisect the angle of. And then from the two points that we get there, we draw arcs further out, without changing the opening of the compass. Now we join A to the intersection of those two small arcs, and we have an angle bisector, making these two angles equal, and every point on this line is the same distance from AB as it is from AD. But that's not quite the question. We want the ones which are closer to this side uh, than this side. So initially it's going to be this whole region here. However, they say it must also be within 6 metres of C. So we've got to have a circle of radius 6 being drawn by from C. Let's measure six metres, draw our part circle, and now we can shed the, uh, shade the area we want. Everything in this green area is closer to AB than it is to AD, and it's within six metres of C. So we've done it.